Games, Comics, Anime, Codenamed Epic. This is Dismal Elephant from CodenamedEpic.com here with... Uh, Jeff Thorne. And Todd Harris. Who are authors of, many di of a few different titles, and ar uh, artists of a few different titles. So why don't you go ahead and tell us about some things that you just came out with and here with. Okay, um, we're at the uh, Long Beach Comic Con, and uh, today we're showing uh, uh, issues of our comic book prodigal, Egg of First Light. Uh, we go by the name together like a band name is uh, Genre 19. And it's our first official project. We came out through Ape Entertainment. It's a publishing company. Uh, it's our property. We own it. And it's a, sort of an adventure story, um, globe-trotting adventure story, kind of like The Rundown or Big Trouble in Little China or Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. And it's just a really uh, a fun story about two people who steal stuff for a living. Lots of action, lots of laughs. Not ninjas. Not, not ninjas. Not real ninjas. Not real, not real ninjas. Lots of kung fu and magic. Lots of dragon. Every anything there's you could possibly imagine. There's sword fights. There's guns. There's hot chicks. And there's people, hot dudes. It's just great. And people running for their lives, screaming a lot. So that's the that's the rundown. So how did you come about this idea? How did you to come together with this idea? A uh, short version. Uh, yeah, the short. I mean, you know, it's nothing epic. It's no Voltron story. Um, <laughs> It's, uh, we both, you know, we're both uh, working professionals. We both work in entertainment. I work in film. Uh, I do a lot of storyboard work. And um, he's a, you know, he's a television writer. Uh, writes short, he writes uh, science fiction novels too. And just one day, I was on a, one day I was on a job. And when I got back off the job, I was just thinking, well, I could do this as well as the guys on my job. And uh, we need to do something else. Yeah. And uh, so I, I, you know, I called him up or, or Skyped him, and he, uh, he told me, he, I, I told him, like, we need to do something for ourselves. And uh, when I got back into town, um, about four weeks, three to four Germany, weeks later, right? yeah. On Ninja Assassin. Yeah. And three to four weeks later, um, which I love those guys on Ninja Assassin, they're great. Um, but three, th three to four weeks later after I got back, we, uh, we had ironed out an idea while I was in Germany, and then we got back and we just started cranking on a small ash can. That's true. Thank you, Skype, because we, he was in Germany and I was in L.A., and we worked out what became the first, first bits of Prodigal by Skyping back and forth, him show, literally holding up art like this to the camera and me going, okay, I'll send you something over a link and he'll read it and story it was story. great. Yeah, yeah. Story, story, our art came back, cranked out a small ash can if you don't in have uh, three, maybe three uh, weeks yeah, and um, printed out everything to the Comic Con. Uh, we were shopping it around and much to our surprise, people went, you know, for lack of a better word, uh, ape shit. And uh, Are we swear? Are we allowed to swear? Eh, why not? You don't care. Too late now. I've crossed that line. <laughs> if, if anything else, and someone will have to go through and beep it. But we can that's swear. Not gonna be Balls. No. Uh, um, wow. Wow. <laughs> just went there. Yeah. Thank you. So anyway. Um, uh, so anyway. So yeah, we did this ash can. We got a huge, huge, the popular response. We were actually really amazed at how well it went. And then um, we just started approaching uh, the ones that approached us, all the publishers that approached us, all the publishers that were impressed. And then we uh, and and we responded to the one that gave us the deal that we liked the best. Right. And then we went forward. That that deal happened to come from Ape. Right. And, um, and they were good guys. Uh, they distributed our book nationally. We got good um, we got good press from all of the different uh, review sites. And uh, everybody really likes the book. Everyone who reads it really likes the book. Uh, and we just had a really good time making it. So. Um, Another, I guess our next project, because of this, is we were selling the book, uh, oh, our, our, um, our trade paperback's about to come out in November, so that's part of the reason why we're here now showing the original version, which came out last year. We were at the um, San Diego Comic Con, and uh, we ran into Mike Richardson, uh, who runs Dark Horse Comics. He's the president and founder of Dark Horse Comics, which we always wanted to work out anyway. We actually wanted to do uh, maybe a Star Wars story for them. So we were. I just was like, hey, Mike, I saw him. I don't know him, but I'm crazy. And I called out like, hey, Mike Richardson. And he walked by and he's like, who's calling my name, person I don't know. And I was like, what are you doing walking around on the convention floor like you're just a nobody? And he's yeah, like, without, a co without, without our comic book in your hand. Yeah. And he was like, I am looking for people to be in Dark Horse Presents. And I was like, well, you're talking to one, you know? <laughs> and he's like, really? And he's like, you know, because everybody always hits them up. Yeah. All these guys just get dived on whenever they... And by the way, Mike Richardson is impossible to ignore once you know what he looks like. Like, he's like six foot seven, I think. And he's got like perfectly white hair and he just sort of glides through like a ghost amongst all of us taller than all of us and it's hard to miss so 
is I was like, wait right here. And I ran back to the table and I brought him a copy of Prodigal. And I said, my buddy and I did this book uh, after work uh, over three months. Literally, we'd get home from work and we'd work on the book. And, um, and uh, he says, all right, uh, give me a call next week and you'll be in Dark Horse Presents. But the interesting thing was is that we were under contract with Ape, so we could not use Prodigal to be in the Dark Horse, even though Prodigal would be a perfect fit for that. Um, so over the weekend, we were like, what should we do? And we had a bunch of other properties that we hadn't been planning to roll out right away. So we grabbed one, which is this next project, Journeyman. We threw that at Dark Horse, and they were like, yeah, perfect. That's going to go in four issues of... Uh, Four installments of uh, Dark Horse Presents as soon as you guys get it to us. Here so we, we here we are working on it. So that's the next that next year sometime you'll see Journeyman. Well, if it's anything like Prodigal, I'm sure that everybody will out there will love it. Uh, what would you say, Pirates of the Caribbean? Um, you're better at this than me because you make words for a living. Okay. If you like Doctor Who, if you like Pirates of the Caribbean, and if you like Time Bandits, you should really enjoy Journeyman. Well, I know I'm a very big Doctor Who fan, especially over the last six months. Yes! So, I just got caught up from episode one of the 2005 restart okay. up to current oh, within wow. the last four or five months. Wow! So, I am very Welcome. overloaded Welcome. and in delight with the Doctor Who it's universe. It's all about Matt Smith! It's all about Matt Smith! And if I remember correctly, um, the main the Doctor Who current actually just won an award for Best Sci-Fi Actor. Excellent. Wow. So very good things going on there. Um, so what are some things that you have done outside of Protocol and and Journeyman? Um, well, uh, stripping. No. Why? Do you, never mind. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I've written uh, some Star Trek fiction. Uh, I wrote a novel called Sword of Damocles, uh, Star Trek Titan Sword of Damocles. I uh, write for the TV series Leverage, and I also write for uh, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Um, I've got a couple of episodes coming up in the next, I think in December my first one drops. It's called Inspector 13. I think you guys will get a huge kick out of it. If you like Ben 10, you'll definitely get a kick out of it. But um, uh, So that's, that's, that's kind of the gist, I guess, right? That's pretty much it. Yeah. And uh, me, uh, by trade, I'm a storyboard artist, and I do concept artwork too, and you know, work on an occasional children's book. Uh, most of the time, I spend my storyboarding movies or uh, television ads or uh, music videos. So, uh, like some movies, I you know, I did a little concept work on Wolverine. I did uh, Ninja Assassin. I did Takers. Got I got oh yeah, I worked on video games. We got a War Two and Three. Uh, you know. I kind of bounce around and do a few things. Um, I don't, I, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, I did a little work on um, that uh, Justin Timberlake movie, In Time. That's the most. That's the most current thing. It's hard because, you know, I so forget. Yeah, you just forget. So not to, I'm not like a jerk. Like ah, mm, so much dark. I can't even. I can't even make sense of it all. It's too much for me to tell you about. But yeah, that's, I, I scribble for a living. Boxes, draw pictures in boxes. And so, uh, uh, uh. and I love. Actually, I love drawing comic boxes the best. So. Um, that's what we do outside of comics, and you know both both uh, endeavors are very time uh, time intensive. So you know we try our best to squeeze as much comic book time out of our schedules as we can, so we can really you know produce as much work as we can uh, in the interim between jobs. So, yeah, we we really because we really it's not like it's a lot of money. We just really really like it. You know, um, we both love comics. We both have big comic book collections. And uh, we just were not seeing the kind of comics, not that comics are bad, but we like a particular kind of adventure comic, or adventure story, I guess is a better way of saying it. And we just weren't seeing that comic on the shelf, so we were like, well, we could do it, see what happens. And so that's where Prodigal came from, and that's where Journeyman came from. We just, we like, we like good adventure stories that, like old school, swashbuckly, good guys, bad guys, you know, but fun, modern flavor. Exactly. And comic books, for, for me, is just the best. It's words and pictures. It's the third language. Yup. You know, you just, it doesn't get any better than a comic book for me. So. So, make sure you check out Prodigo, as well as Journeyman once it comes out and hits the shelves. Dark Horse Presents! If your local comic shop does not have it, make them have it. Thank you. Get it twice. Thank you get it much. twice, get it three times, meet up with them at a convention. I'm sure that they'll be happy to sign it, we especially will. if you buy it on the spot yes. directly from them. Buy from me and I will sign something cool. There you go. <laughs> so this is Dismal Elephant from Codename Epic. Thank you.